Okay, here goes. Mmm, seven seven, baby. <laughs> it's trash. Hey, you! What is up, guys? It's your boy Twitter here. Today, I'll be showing you guys something absolutely crazy for the free-to-play players, as well as the veterans, because there is a way to give your alts seven seven stones without paying a dime. However, this takes time, patience, and all that sham wow. So let's get right into it. So at some point during a month, I had this crazy idea to think about a, a very simple fact that I don't know whether people are using this or not. The radiant power of transcendence can be used for something very specific. Once you go to the ability stone cutter, you can then not upgrade, but exchange for a, a lot of random stones. And the bigger question is, why the hell would you want this? Well, here's the thing. If I just open them up, my inventory gets filled, and now I have the option to then look for any single stone that might be decent on a one of my alt characters. And there's just a few that I might want to change. So having all of these opened will now turn into this treasure hunt whether there is anything that can be useful. Now the reason why this is useful is if I ever want to send one of my characters one of these stones, I can simply say, oh, I got a sorceress. There we go. I want to put this stone right up there. It used to be that this cost peons. Nowadays, it doesn't anymore. So using this process by just looking at your stones will allow you to get just about anything. Now the bigger question is, what do you prioritize in terms of stones and what characters do you put them in? That is one of the bigger questions that I assume newer players will put themselves in. However, let me give you some answers to that question. Open up, all I see all of these things. Best stone in the building, straight up adrenaline stone for a very big reason. If you get a 9-7 stone out of an adrenaline stone, guess what? You won the lottery because most classes will have reached their absolute maximum with having one of these adrenaline stones. If you don't go for an adrenaline stone, there is this one particular thing that could happen and that is a stone like this. This was also one of those random things and guess what? I like to gamble so I found myself a stone that I thought might be good to have or have fun with at the very least. Turned into my very first 9-8 uh, stone. I don't even own a 9-7 stone. So yeah, there's that. Is this the absolute best slot? No, it would have been better if it was adrenaline, but hey, am I liking it? Yes, sir. However, coming back at the things that you want to have in there. So obviously, if you have your grudge, your keen blunt weapon, your curse doll, your hit masters, those are practically outside of maybe ambush master, one of the best options that you can get for all classes well-rounded. But there are some special occasions that you might want to have in the equation as well. So if you go for your support, either a, a drops of ether, but definitely an awakening or an expert are some of these engravings that you want to have within those stones. And then you have all of your sight option. Ray Captain is amazing for most of your swift classes. A keen blood weapon for most of your crit classes, also very good. Supercharge for several of these classes that might add up, like my death blade for instance. And I can only assume that a destroyer or maybe a gun lancer might benefit from this as well. All out attack, I only know one of maybe two classes, one of them being sorcerer, the other one is your artillerist, it might be useful for that. Master brawler, probably destroyer only. Barricade is also one of these things that might be overlooked, but if you have characters like your destroyer, an arcana with the right runes, if you get a machinist with an evolutionary machinist on this, then guess what? This stone will definitely be beneficial to that class as well. And then you got these two engravings that might be nasty and very useful. That would be Mass Increase and Precise Dagger. Mass Increase, not very much used for a lot of classes. However, this benefits you in multiple ways. If you have Mass Increase, overall, the cost of your Assassin's goes down by a notch. Same goes for Precise Dagger, but obviously you want to have Adrenaline. However, there's this one class that definitely benefits from a precise dagger and that would be Pistoler. So that being said, obviously there might be some others that I haven't covered yet, but let's just go into the process of actually doing this and finding out how long it takes for me to actually get a 7-7 stone. Okay. 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 Thank you. 
Hit mass all out attack. Nice. So that will go. All right, 85 on this. Wow, let's let's just start off. Double that one up. Ray Captain Cursed All, nice. Barricade Adrenaline, nice. So, if I look at my roster, for instance, uh, the Barricade Adrenaline could be my destroyer for sure. This is actually funny to do for for some time. Like, I'm not gonna get a 9-7 out of this, but a 7-7 seven, seven on one of my characters is obviously good. All right, let's see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Mass increase and a lot of attack. Wait. Spirit Absorption Grudge, another one. Team Low Weapon Mass and Tenacity. Interesting. Hit Master Grudge. All right, with that being said, let's go on to the characters that I thought could have some use in the future. If I would change one thing, not so fun now is it okay so this character got nothing okay so what am i broken with right now hit master all out attack nine jesus okay here goes If you just use statistics, this is bullshit. What? Absolutely. I thought this was a fun idea. Damn it. Yeah, I'm just clicking buttons, man. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. But just imagine that you had no stones whatsoever. These are still viable. Yeah. There we go. Nice stuff. Better stuff. Even better. Are we gonna continue this? Yeah, we broke the chain. I'm just masking. Yeah. Damn it. It started off so good, man. Damn it.
Okay, here goes. Mmm, seven seven, baby. <laughs> it's trash. So technically, I got one seven seven stone out of this equation already. That is nice. Now, I took about a month and a half to see whether this method would be good if I would just transfer all of these stones to characters instead of selling them. Guess what? I will list you all of the characters that I now got into a 7-7 or an A6 stone deck. For now, we got ourselves the 8-9 stone, probably the cream of the crop that I got by luck, obviously. But if you gamble more, there's a chance you might win. We ended up with a destroyer 7-7 stone. Our sorceress gained herself a 8-7 stone. My Deathblade, you've already seen it. My Slayer got herself a A6 stone. And well, it's still possible to build yourself the things that you need. However, like I said, you have to push yourself up because this is a predator mass increase, which could turn into the ambush master that I need. However, defense reduction, and then again, am I really planning to get this character up all the way possible? Not quite sure. And the last on the list is my Deadeye with an A6 stone. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please put down into the comments what you guys got with using this method. Let me know. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like it and sub if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys into the next one. Peace.